It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger Alright, it's our final breakfast of the cleanse, so we're just saying that we're going to kind of miss the salmon idea for breakfast because tomorrow we're going to go have a uh, granola bowl in the morning and then just tomorrow's breakfast mm. and then that's it. And then we're going to go back to salmon, so just one day, which mm. we probably won't miss it that much because we'll be enjoying the granola bowl. But in saying that, having salmon for breakfast for the last four or five days, it's converted us. Like, oh no, because then we want to do the overnight oats. So there might be a couple of days that we don't have the salmon, but I think next week when we go back to eating clean again after a few treats this weekend, we're definitely going to go back to having the salmon because it's a good little treat and I like it. I get good energy from it. So maybe one day salmon, one day overnight oat. Mm. Hmm. Oh yeah, set up the bookshelf, yeah. Alright, so I'm like halfway through setting this bad boy up. I thought I would show you guys what I'm up to, so... It's only taken me about 20 minutes to throw this bit together. It's not that bad. I had to go and get some tools though, so anyway. When you don't have a hammer at home, when they tell you to nail the backing in, what do you get? The meat cleaver. Oh shit. Yeah! It's your birthday! It's your birthday! Oh, oh, oh! Yeah, yeah. Alright, moment of truth. I'm gonna flip this bad boy over now. Oh, beauts. Very nice, Edward. Very nice. Ah, uh, shit. Alright, so we can fit about three pairs of shoes each way and then a display model on the end there like that. It looks like I'm going to need at least two of the shelves here and then maybe two more shelves to fit all the rest of the shoes. So I've still got quite a few shoes to go. But i got one more shelving to set up, which I'm going to do probably tonight or tomorrow. And then I'm going to have to go and buy some more. But we're getting there. Progress. Then I've got to set that thing up. But anyway, I'm going to shoot off to work now. Eat a meal. Probably have the turkey mince. It's the last day eating this bland food. I can't wait to just add a little bit of salt. And maybe have a little bit of fruit before the workout as well. So pineapple, mango, and beetroot. That's it. Same as always. Nearly active. Alright, very good. Little chicken. Alright guys, lens change, about to do the workout. So we're warming up on the bench press today. We're actually going to do it with the bar. And then we're going to superset it with a back movement. Now instead of hitting our lat pull downs like we normally do towards the start of the movement, I want to prioritize building up a little bit more chunk to my lower lats. So we're going to do a low row on the seated row machine. I don't actually have a low row like a plate loaded machine So for the low row. So I'm just going to improvise and make do with what I've got. I am actually buying a low row machine though because I do love that exercise. So I'm going to show you what we're about to get into. Zoom out, you wanna show me? You can't. Oh, okay. Permanently zoomed. Done, done. Alright, ready? Is it recording? Yeah, yeah, this was all recording. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so with this. Oh, what the fuck? Clear active. Alright, so with this low row, what we're doing is I'm basically mimicking a low row hammer strength machine. So, what I wanna do is arch my back, retract my glutes, so that that way when I reach forward, all the pressure builds up on my lower back. If my back's rounded out like this, as I reach forward, I'm gonna be pulling from my traps and my read delts, and that's not what we want. I'm not gonna rock backwards and forwards like this, because I want all that tension to stay right there. If you move backwards and forwards, you're gonna utilize your back erectors, and that's not what we wanna do, right? So keep your chest still, lever forward really slowly, 
Get that stretch, and then just squeeze the weight in, keeping the elbows nice and tight by the hips. When you do this, it's also good to just kind of flare the elbows out a little bit, so that you get a little bit more stretch through the upper lats as well. Do about 10 to 15 reps on this. Grip is about shoulder width apart. Go! So that's the superset. We'll probably increase the weight a little bit on the bench, move up to about 12 reps, increase it on this one, and then do one more set after that and go a little bit heavier on the last one. Beautiful, Oz. Seven. Look at that. Tight form. Eight. Good. Feel the stretch. Squeeze it. Nine. Ten. All right, now pause. Have a little breather. Let's go for five more. One. Two. Shredded. Three. Four. Miss. <laughs> All right, CB, get in there. All right, so what I want you to imagine is that you're doing that low row machine, yeah? Your hands are about shoulder width. Imagine your chest is leaning up against the pad on the machine and you're just squeezing the arms straight past your hips. There you go, good. We don't want to utilize too much upper back in this movement, which is why we're not going to rock backwards and forwards and using a lot of trap involvement. I just want to basically isolate that very lower lat where the Christmas tree is. Cleanse and feeling pretty good, man, in terms of strength and energy wise. Very low calories, but definitely leaned out a little bit. Tan has improved <laughs> thanks to the Dove moisturizer. Gradual tanner. All right, bro, we're gonna do the incline bench press superset with low row, bro, a one arm. Millie, what's that balloon? Millie, what is that? It's an alien. It's an alien. They're invading. The aliens are invading. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny.
Alright, so we're supersetting the incline bench press with the cable row and it's a low row. So this is very similar to the move that I did in our last video where I was just holding on to this and then squeezing the lower lat. The only difference is now this time we've introduced the bench to it. So both guys and girls can do this exercise. Very good movement for targeting the lower lats. Alright, so what we're doing is very similar to a dumbbell roll as well. Whatever arm that you're pulling with, that leg has to go back, okay? It can't be the same. You have to pull this hip away as you reach forward to stretch out the lower lat. And then as you pull your elbow in by your side, you've got to squeeze that hip up and try and bunch up that lower lat and just squeeze and hold the tension. Make sure when you lean forward, you don't just let the arm go forward, that you actually let the whole shoulder go forward and stretch out the entire muscle belly itself, right? So this is how you do it. Woo! set up a bench in front of a cable machine like this that you have it slightly off center that way you can pull a straight line through to your hip right once you do one arm you've got to move the bench over if the bench is straight in front of the cable you're going to be reaching around the front of the bench meaning that you're going to have to rotate your trunk which is very dangerous on your vertebrae so you don't want to do that run free and dive into the sky hear the wind crying So we're gonna just gonna finish off the lower lats by doing a couple of heavy sets of one arm dumbbell rows. We're not gonna throw the weight around, all right? We're gonna make sure that we do it nice and controlled. Because we just did a lot of work pinching the lower lat under all that tension with the cable, the muscles that surround your vertebrae and your lower back will be a little bit tender. So if you throw a heavy weight around or just let it drop too quick, very likely you snap your shit up. So I'm still gonna hit the 50s. I was actually just PB. So we're still looking to move a heavy weight, but just make sure we don't overdo it, all right? I have a dream. So take my hand, join the army of the shadows. Going harder, we are holding numbers, standing in the shadows. Get it, forget it. The cameraman, OG. Talk to us, Eddie. How you feeling, brother? <laughs> huh? Two sets of that, and then moving on to the barbell rows after this. All right, here we go, Oz, man. Controller, bro. Moving on to the last exercise, actually the second last combo. So we're doing three exercises back to back now. We're doing a dumbbell incline supersetting it with a barbell row and then we're doing the row on the seated row but with a Y grip. So three exercises back to back.
Cosmic! 